in a lot of the, your projects that there's very, very many deactivated clips in terms of your, like, your method of your creation of these drops. So I seem like you, do you get to a certain point where you think that there's just too much going on and that's where you can kind of start to like, almost like you're, you're sculpting at yeah. this point, right? So is that kind of where you see yourself doing what you see yourself doing in a lot of your projects? So it totally is. Um, th thanks for bringing that up because I didn't even think about that as far as like the compositional process. I mentioned this in, I think, Arise in the DAW and the Only in a Dream in the DAW episodes where how I arrange things is I'll start with like the first bar and then repeat that, tweak, and then take that whole section and then repeat that and then tweak that and then usually the turnarounds is where there's going to be some kind of change up instrumentation wise it's sort of similar here this stuff here is muted because i pretty much copied and pasted this entire section over to this drop to try to get a start on it and then i just started getting really subtractive resampled the neuro bass sound and then started cutting that up for instance like this I just decided to take out stuff uh, to take out this clip here because I wanted this stuff to ring through. I didn't want just a constant legato sub going through. I wanted to really break right. it up more. And I do that a little bit more in this section here, which we'll get to. My process is like I'll create like a four bar line and then I'll hear different variations of change ups within there. And so what I'll do is I'll before I take anything out, I'll start adding layers and stuff to it. And then I can take this out because these new additions take the torch. It's kind of like doing a lot of unmasking. Yeah, like exactly. The, of certain instruments. I just, I find it interesting because just because like usually in a producer mindset, like you start hearing something for too long, you're like, oh, it doesn't sound as good anymore. You and then you start adding stuff really easy to start getting cluttered. It's like you're taking a direct active approach to counteract that, which is really interesting because your mixes do sound very clean, I would say, and it's like nothing is really in the way of each other. And that's pretty much like you're getting the most impact out of the least amount of things. Saying as much as possible with the least amount of words as possible. And I really like, it's like optimization. And I really like that concept as a whole. And I think a lot of that can be applied to music. And especially for people like me who have the tendency to just like layer way too much stuff and just add more stuff. Cause it's like, I get bored of stuff so fast. I need, my ears need to hear more. And I, I'm always, wearing these headphones or listening through my HS8s and everything is just so clean and I can hear everything that I'm putting down and I'm just like, I totally lose a sense of how the end user is going to perceive it. It's important for me to to backtrack and be like, what is really essential in this part? Like, I want it to change up, but why does it, like, maybe it doesn't need to have this thing that has been repeating layered on top of that. I hear a lot of novice producers who it sounds like they are trying to make stuff too big and too full too soon. And you kind of have have to get used to hearing things really dynamic and not super maxed out like all of the reference tracks that you're listening to because it's going to get to that point you want to keep it pretty minimal and pretty dynamic you don't want to have extra layers that aren't necessary musically because they're not just filling out the track they're just adding more noise to the track it's an acquired thing to know what's going to sound big without it actually sounding big yet like i don't like producing with anything on my master chain although i mean this has stuff on here for when i render to the master when i turn all that stuff on then it's like wow okay now it sounds as big as i was imagining it sounding in a way you kind of have to let your ears lower their tolerance of what sounds big. You can carve out the space for the right sounds, and then at the very end, then you can really crank it. And then it's like, wow, okay. it's so big and it's so clear at the same time. <laughs>